Hi, how are you? I'm Patricia McNeely. I'm a twin flame healer, teacher, coach, and I help people identify their twin flame journey and be able to tell the differences between soulmates and twin flames. In this video, I want to talk to you about 10 signs this may not be your soulmate. So number one is that you feel that some energy has left the relationship. And sometimes this is very tangible. You can feel it literally lift off. You feel something has escaped from it and it's very noticeable. Number two, mentally you wonder where the spark has gone, where the magic has gone, where's the passion, was there ever any passion and you cannot recapture it and this is when some people will go to seek help and try to find out how to recapture it but stick with me. Number three, that person bores you and in fact you're boring together and it's noticeable. They come near you and you just feel bored. You're going to get together or you're in their presence and you feel bored. Number four, you get tired together or you get tired and you feel drained. You feel that there's something that just drains out of you in this relationship. Number five, you sleep in separate bedrooms and separate beds. Sometimes you don't want to be near that person. You don't even want their skin to touch your skin. Number six, you start seeing all of the flaws and it annoys you, it irritates you, or it can make you violent and when I say violent it may not be that you strike that person but some people slam doors they will break things they will um, break dishes or someone's favorite thing it uh, can make a person feel like some violence is rising up in them number seven you or the other person goes back into addictions distractions old habits contacting exes, cheating behaviors, starting to hide things, starting to have to lie about things. But addictions is a big one. If you notice that in the beginning of the relationship, there really weren't any addictions, but now the person is over drinking, drinking too much alcohol. You feel like a babysitter that they're smoking more or a combination of all of it. That's another red flag. Number eight, the outside world sees a facade and you can go places together and people think that you're mostly together and you're fine. But in your heart, you know the truth that things are not good or they could be better or they should be better and that you deserve more. Number nine, there are certain companion aspects such as sharing burdens, sharing grief, taking care of each other's families or taking care of a family member or especially financial burdens and financial debt. Financial debt is a number one killer of relationships. Financial infidelity, right there, that's going to kill things. And number 10, home never feels like home. Now for people that are on their journey, um, that there's a driving force inside that you want to find that person who feels like home where these things are not issues, where you don't have weird codependencies like this. So if you need um, help with this, I would recommend that you get my book. It is called Twin Flame Relationships. I have many tips in here for many types of relationships and action steps, things you should do on you know, how to relate to the rest of the world from uh, your, pretty much from your heart space. How do you relate to other people? How do you relate to spouses if you're going to stay with a spouse, children, etc. Please look at the link below. It's in the description and it's on sale right now. I also do help during a session or coaching. So I hope this uh, video has helped you and that you can identify some of these things for yourself and really start to make some decisions for your life. Please like, comment, and subscribe. If you like these videos, please tell people and share them. Thank you. Bye.